I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd bring you something a little different, something fashion related, I know. So lately I've been sucked into adverts on social media and online about all these sorts of personal styling services. So people like Stitch Fix, Thread, there's a couple of others as well, but these are definitely the two that I've seen around the most. And I'm also incredibly bored of my winter lockdown wardrobe. I've been wearing the same stuff over and over again and I'm looking at all the stuff I haven't worn for months and I'm just not excited about it anymore. So I thought I wanted to try something new, try and get some fresh stuff into my wardrobe. So if you know me, if you've followed this channel for a little while, you'll probably know that I love to wear bright stuff, patterns, just things that make you happy, you know, like lots of florals and all of that fun stuff like I'm wearing a stripy jumper right now and it's probably too warm for this beautiful sunny day but I thought I wanted to mix it up like I've been seeing lots of different like more neutrals and things like that on Instagram a lot and I thought you know what I'm gonna try it so I signed up to Stitch Fix and Thread and my first Thread box has come today so I'm gonna do a little try on for you and we can see what we think of those. So the Thread service is quite different to Stitch Fix. So the idea is you go on, you do the same sort of general survey to find out what your general style is, what types of things you're looking for. And then they basically use an AI with a stylist. So mine is called Polly. I don't know if she's she's real or if she is literally an AI named Polly. Could be either. And it gives you like five recommendations after about an hour of waiting. So I looked through those and then you can click through and it gives you other suggestions of related things or if that one's not quite right you can find something else that is a little bit more suited to you. So after all that searching I came away with three things and I couldn't quite believe, I just got really sucked into the process, it was just so nice. Like I loved looking through all these things that were like tailored to me with the styling like ideas and things like that, it just, I really liked the whole experience which is why I spent a lot more than I normally would. I would say I normally spend up to about £50 per item of clothing. These are a fair bit more than that. So yeah, let's go into it and have a try on. So my thread box just arrived and I'm going to try and open it without showing you my home address. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, got lots of leaflets. Ah, oh, it's from Polly, my stylist. She's real. She has a pink pen and she sent me some love hearts. <laughs> I really thought Polly was just an AI. I mean, I think she might still be. Oh my God. Oh, these clothes are more expensive than any other clothes I have bought potentially ever. Oh, these look very nice. Here we have the cream Bowden trousers. Very nice. Oh, this is the jacket. Oh God, the Hobbs jacket. Why did I spend so much money? <laughs> now, see, the issue is that they're so beautiful and I want to keep them. Well, I haven't tried them on yet, but... And then we have the Phase 8 jumpsuit. Oh, gosh, this is big. Can you tell that I love these buttons? They, I mean, it all looks promising. I'll have to try it on now. <laughs> it's... I quite like it. What do you think? Hmm... It's a different look for you. It's different, yeah. but is that a bad one? Kind of feels like a boiler suit, but a bit more like a boiler suit dress play suit thing. Yeah. yeah. We've got a lot of room in it. You can really do what you want. It's amazing. Would I spend, do I like it? Yes. Would I spend £89 on it? When are you going to wear it? That's, that's the other thing I was thinking. Because like, it's nice for like maybe a picnic in the summer. Would I wear it to work? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Go get £89 worth of wear out of it. I don't know. <laughs> this is, so these are the trousers and they fit like an atmosphere glove. They're so nice. They feel very expensive and that's because they are. They're really nice. I feel like I've put this on and I feel like I've become like a businesswoman that I'd love to be. Really like 
put on something that fits this well in a long time. It all just became a bit much, but am I gonna have to spend £70 on these gorgeous trousers? Yes you are. Am I? Oh, <laughs> and then this is the jacket from Hobbs, um, which was £89. I mean, it is a jacket, but it, it is quite thin. I wouldn't really say... It's almost a t-shirt, it's almost like a thick... I think that's what you call... I can't remember what it is, like some of those shirts that are basically a jacket. Yeah, a shacket? Is that what it's called? A no. <laughs> it is. is it? <laughs> I do really like it. It might be maybe a size too big. I think they are meant to be a bit oversized. Are they? My overall thinking is that I I would keep all three if I was rich, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do really like this. And I like the trousers. I think I'll probably keep those two and send back the jumpsuit because I feel like the jumpsuit is excessive more of a stretch <laughs> for me. But I think overall, I've been really happy with the stuff. I guess this is what happens when you spend more money than I normally would. And everything goes with my new shoes as well, which is fun. They're lovely those. Mm. Close up of the shoe, close up of the shoe. These are from Jones's. Jones the bootmaker. Yes. But their shoes. Right, I'll see you in a few days when my stitch fix order arrives. Let's hope it's as, as successful as this and maybe a little bit cheaper, hopefully. <laughs> my stitch fix has arrived, hallelujah. It's now over a week, no, just under a week later since I got my thread order and stitch fix has finally arrived. It has been a week and a half since I ordered it, so it's not the fastest, but I'm excited to see what I have. Yay, let's have a look. So here is the box. Let's look inside. I've been waiting for this for so bloody long. Okay, so we've got some instructions on the box here. Da, da, da. Ooh. Okay, so here is my bundle. Ooh. Okay, okay quite dark colors i would say these are i think the trousers we picked out together which look very different in person to what they did online that must be the jumpsuit the dress a blouse and i'm guessing another blouse so this is the wild card one that i didn't know what was coming it's quite exciting i've watched people unboxing these on on youtube and now i've got my own so here we go. I got this little styling card. Oh, this is cute. So it tells you what you can wear with each thing. Morgan says, hi Lisa, welcome to Stitch Fix. It was great meeting you on our live styling call the other day. It was great meeting you too, Morgan. I'm excited to hear how these pieces work for you once you get a chance to try them all on. She didn't have the lighter color blazer at this time, which I asked for, which I've since actually bought from H&M anyway. So she chose another blouse to pair with the crop trousers that we chose together. I'll keep an eye out for the blazer and the mom jeans. I've also bought the mom jeans. <laughs> Oops, I've done some shopping. This is the thing, because I ordered this Stitch Fix a week and a half ago, and then I had the call with Morgan nearly a week ago. And since then, the girl's been shopping, you know? I've <laughs> actually... Like everything I'm wearing now is new. Oops. <laughs> Looking forward to reading your feedback, Morgan. She was so nice. So we had this call, it was half an hour long and we basically went through the five things that had been picked out for me already. And then we had the chance to, I said which ones I liked, which ones I didn't. And then the ones I didn't, we looked together for some other stuff. It's just really fun. Like it's fun to talk to someone who knows about fashion, about my dilemmas because I feel like I'm pretty bad at fashion, so <laughs> she helped me. First one on top is the wild card, which is this sort of blouse. Doesn't really do much for me. It's just kind of an average blouse, flowery blouse. So next we have this navy shirt. Talking about this on the call, it has this sort of, oh, I have no idea if you're gonna be able to see this. But it's nice, uh, it's got a puffy sleeve. I like a puffy sleeve. Let's be optimistic, Lisa. How much did this cost? 55 pounds. I guess it is a bit nicer than average with the ruffle, but hmm. Okay, okay. This one I'm quite excited about. I own no leopard print um, at all, or animal print in general. So I thought this is genuinely getting at me outside of my comfort zone. 
that's 55 pounds which i feel like is more acceptable because it's a, like a really thick long dress which you could wear all year like we were talking on the styling call like it's a it would work well and work hard in your wardrobe because you can wear it in summer with sandals or you can wear it in winter with tights and boots so it's quite a versatile one so fingers crossed for this one i didn't i just feel like when i was on the call i was like yeah jumpsuit and then now am i like yeah jumpsuit i don't know oh it's got like a tie this would be really fun actually i hope this fits 65 pounds mm. and then the final one are these trousers which i have to say oh now i'm holding them up to the camera and i'm looking in the camera it looks a lot more like what i thought they were going to look like how weird is that in person i don't know if you can really see it oh yeah you can that's what it looks like very soft really nice material so everything on this comes to 292 pounds if i buy everything i get a 20 percent discount which takes it down to oh and then i've already paid the 10 pound styling charge so if i kept everything it would be 224 pounds for five things so i guess that's not too bad actually but the thing is if i only keep a couple of things because i have a feeling that some of this stuff is going to be too big um but we'll see maybe she's grown <laughs> maybe it'll fit everything now hello how we doing here is the navy top so i put it with these mom jeans that i got from h&m which i adore after so long for looking for mom jeans i finally found some that fit me and this is the navy top is it it's, it's all right isn't it it's all right it looks very dark on camera it is more navy than it looks it's got these puffy sleeves which feel a bit like cheap see the little um frilly bits which is cute i think i'll wear them put on the trousers on next that she recommended that these match so brb okay i've moved you down a bit so hopefully you can see the trousers oh the pockets are shut i <laughs> want to go in there what do you think what do you think i'm kind of mixed on them bizarrely i've been having such issues with sizes lately these are 12 and they are quite big but in others <laughs> i've ordered a six, size 16 um bottoms sometimes <laughs> As I suspected, they are quite high on the old calf. Do I look like a hobbit? I mean, really, I'd like them just to come down to maybe there. When I sit down, they're like that. Oh, they're very, very comfy to sit down in. And uh, just ignore the mess. We're in the midst of work from home unboxing. So oh, these, they're very soft, actually. Oh, I kind of like this top, actually. So this is the top I wasn't sure about um, with the new stitch fix trousers i haven't actually i probably should have gone and looked in the mirror first <laughs> would not normally pair pattern with pattern but morgan told me i can and i believe her because she knows <laughs> more about these things than i do and actually it it's quite nice do i want to keep it i'm gonna think about it so this t-shirt was 38 pounds which is actually the cheapest thing in the whole shebang the trousers were no the trousers are 79.95 no wonder they're nice the thread ones that came from Bowdoin are delightful and they are 70 pounds but then i get 20 percent off so they're actually 56 and these are 79 just just off the bat that does make me think about them in a different way okay so here we have the dress this was what i was most excited for and I, I do like it yeah i feel like could i have done it in a 12 100 percent would a 12 be better potentially okay you can just about see i think this is my favorite so far what do you think i think it's quite fun okay it's a party over here ah this is fun this is fun it's like a very flowy movie sort of I mean, that gives me a nice sort of shape, doesn't it, really? How often would I wear this? Don't know. <laughs> For all those garden parties I've got planned. I do have a lot of nice summer dresses already. But this is different. It's a jumpsuit. I don't own any jumpsuits. It is, let's remind ourselves of the price, £65. £65. Mm. I think I'm going to like these. I'm like a cat. What do you think I should keep? What do you think? i should 
get rid of. I don't know. I feel like there's a part of me that could be like, yeah, um, F it. Let's get the whole 224 and get the 20% off. Because they're all, they all fit. They're all fine. But what gives me that, I really want to buy you and I will wear you in my wardrobe and I'm excited to wear you. I need to have a thing. I'll also do another fashion show for Matt when he comes home. That's the plan. And um, I will come back to you and tell you what is staying and what is going. So it's the next day, so I've slept on it, if you will. And I've decided I'm keeping two things. These white trousers from Thread and the green jumpsuit from Stitch Fix because I tried it on again last night and it is just gorgeous. We figured out you could tie the bows at the top and it's just so cute and summery. It's just a shame that I won't be able to wear it for a few more weeks um, until it gets proper sunny, but I can wait. The wait will be worth it. So overall, my sort of review of Stitch Fix versus Thread, I thoroughly enjoyed using both of them. They're both super fun, super great platforms. I really do recommend it. So um, I have put links to referral codes for both so that you can get 20% off Thread and 15 pounds off Stitch Fix. So definitely have a look in the description if you're interested. I would say Thread is better if you have that bigger budget and you're just looking for a bit of inspiration, but Stitch Fix has more of the surprise sort of fun aspect to it and I would say that there is definitely more of that sort of personalized you're actually when they say that you have a personal stylist you actually do with Stitch Fix with Thread and they don't pretend any other way with Thread you do your quiz and then the AI sort of figures out what is best for you I would say with both of them there is the temptation to go over budget so do keep that in mind if you have a very strict budget but if you just want to have some fun get some new clothes I really literally cannot recommend them enough and I will definitely use both services again in the future I think I'll probably do stitch fix in like a couple of months um, when I want another bit of a wardrobe refresh and thread I think I'll just sort of go on there they email me like when they've been new look styled so whenever that email comes through I click on it straight away because I just love looking at what they've styled so if you want something that is very specifically this season it's in this season then thread is by far your best bet they have all of the sort of current season styles in a very digestible way so you can figure out what is right for you and then buy the stuff that is relevant straight from there but for stitch fix is more just like general nice pieces i wouldn't say it's specifically like what is in this season it's just nice things for the season if that makes sense that being said go and try them out it's really fun I'll be doing it again and if you do let me know what you think and also let me know what you think of the clothes what should I have kept am I crazy for spending all this money <laughs> this is only the half of what I've spent recently on clothes so I've been a bit naughty but anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye